I had a great time in Vegas, other than when I went down to the pool. Because I go down to the pool, I'm down there, it's me, it's fucking Jay Lawhead, who's been killing it in front of me, and uh, the lovely Nia and her cousins, and we're hanging, her cousin, I mean, and we're hanging out down the pool, and they're doing the usual shit. You know, if you're a redhead and you go down to the pool, like, you're just asking for it. People all, you know, look how white you are. You know, like I never noticed. It's like I'm fucking around myself. I've been around myself since the 60s, the late 60s. I know how white I am. And if I ever forget how white I am, there's always somebody there to remind me. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed your skin tone. (laughs) What am I, meditating, floating up out of my body? All right, so these people I'm with go, come on, come on in the pool. I'm like, I don't want to go in the pool. I don't want to go in the fucking pool. You know, they're like, why not? Why don't you want to go in the pool? You know why? Because they're fucking. Look at look at these people. Look at them. Look at them. And you're, you're getting you you know, would you take a bath with all with any one of the people that you see here? These fucking. Just messes of human beings. There's not enough chlorine in a fucking pool to kill whatever the fuck they're dragging in the pool. You know, it's like I finally ended up going to the pool. Then everybody made fun of how white my fucking alabaster chest was. And uh, then I had to stay in the shade of the fucking uh, the lifeguard's chair, you know. <laughs> you know, I had a show to do. I'm being a professional. I can't come out stage later, half in the bag, looking like a lobster, Right? I got to do my little song and dance later on that night. So anyway, so I ended up getting in the fucking pool against my, what I wanted to do, you know. And then I get out of the pool. Uh, first of all, for my age, I am in absolutely phenomenal top shelf shape. All right. I got to tell you, the, the fucking just the, the, the fuck the humanity that I saw poolside in las vegas the fucking humanity keyword manatee (laughs) not to step step on uh jim gaffigan i just realized he used to use that reference and i'm pretty sure he used it i can't remember how the fuck he used it but if he used it to describe a fat pale torso not really pale but whatever whatever the, the fucking shit i saw Decided that he was dead on that. Oh, my God. Is there anything worse than seeing a tattoo come of age? You know? Jesus Christ. If you get a tattoo, you better you better just make the mental decision that you're going to P90X for the rest of your fucking life. Because when you don't... Dude, I saw this guy down at the pool. All right? He had, like, not only the worst tattoos you've ever seen in your life... Like the worst placement. You know what I mean? Like you get one like on the side of your arm, up by your shoulder, that looks good. Right on the bicep, that looks good. You know? Do you know somebody that gets one right over their voice box? Like I don't give a fuck what you have surrounding that that leads into that part of the, of the, of the work or the piece, whatever they call it. it. It looks fucking horrible. Leg tattoos, horrific. Horrific. So this fucking jerk off. He has basically the exact sort of like tribal thing that The Rock has, except he doesn't look tribal. He looks like an accountant, you know, and he doesn't work out. So just imagine if The Rock was as pasty as I was (laughs) and it never worked out in his life. But he has that same tattoo that starts at the elbow, goes up the arm, over the shoulder and covers one whole peck. But the way this guy had it done was it didn't cover his whole peck. It came swinging in and went right above his, his man nipple. So now all of, the, all of that is, like, colored in. So because of the pastiness of his torso, your eye is just drawn to his right nipple. <laughs> is he standing in the fucking pool? My neck was sore from shaking my head at people. It was It was absolutely fucking horrific, right? So... So anyways, um, I go back up to the uh, I go back up to the hotel room. Right. You know, going to make sure that I'm all ship shape for my goddamn show. And I put on the news. 
And what do they end up doing a story about? They start doing a story about the amount of uh, fecal matter found in public pools. Right after I just got out of a goddamn pool. You know, and I know what people always think. Oh, stay away from where the kids are. Stay away from the kiddie pool, right? Stay away from there. They always blame the fucking kids. Well, uh, you know, something. After seeing what I saw pools, uh, you know, there weren't a lot of kids in there. But I guarantee you, somebody got a coli. I know this is fucking disgusting, but people, you, you're basically bathing. You know what's even more fucked up is, is Vegas is just like, you know, people fly in from all over the world. You're taking a fucking AIDS bath. You know, with a shot of fucking, uh, what the hell was that shit that came out? But it killed people so fast that it just burned out. Everybody just ran into the woods. The fuck was that shit called? Ah, Christ, I can't remember. Ebola. That's it. With a shot of Ebola. Or whatever. Food poisoning. I don't know what it is. A salmonella shower. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm done with public pools. The only pool that I will ever swim in again is my pool, if I ever get one, or the pool of some hot chick that I want to fucking bang because I have Nia's permission. That's the only way it's going to go down. Other than that, you know, I'll just go, I'll just go take a bath. <laughs> that way I'm out of the sun. You know, I'll take a couple of vitamin E pills, whatever the fuck it is you get from the sun. Other than skin cancer, I'm done with it. You know what America needs to implement after years and years of calling the French people smelly? You know, that's kind of like the thing. When we went over to France and saved their ass for the second time last century. Oh, wait, did we do it once? We did it one time, right? I can't fucking remember. So anyways, we've always made fun of the French for how they, sm- they smell. If you ever watched uh, Bugs Bunny growing up, and you saw Pepe Le Pew, if you noticed he had a French accent. You know, that's the kind of shit you couldn't get away with today because of uh, political correctness, I guess. They were basically saying that, you know, that they stunk. But I'll tell you one thing that the French have when it comes to hygiene over Americans, all right, is the bidet. All right. I can guarantee you if I ever go swimming in a public pool again, it's going to be in France. Unless there's a bunch of Americans. I, I know I've been over to England. I never saw a bidet over there. You know? A bidet is basically a car wash for your asshole. And, uh, you know, it leaves you feeling refreshed. Puts a fucking smile on your face. And evidently in France, you're so fucking happy you forget to put on deodorant. But I'll tell you right now, you can jump in that pool. I bet they're not, I bet they're not talking about that shit over there. Right? Right? 